Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. Mal and I got in bed a little late last night, but not as late as we normally do for Saturday game nights. Even so, a little tired this morning. Um, if you missed yesterday's vlog, you will not know that today, uh, Mallory and myself are traveling with my parents to go up to, well, down south, to Charleston. Spend the day in Charleston. We're also going to be there for most of tomorrow uh, because my dad has a uh, doctor's appointment in the morning. Right now, I am just trying to get all of the, the food and water squared away for the cats. This is actually a pretty monumental occasion for the cats. This is the first time they are going to be left alone and have no one, like, come take care of them because my parents are going to be with us. Even if we've been gone for a day, my parents have come over to, you know, to feed them or whatever. So I have made sure that they have plenty. Because now, in addition to the normal water dish they have, I gave them a huge Tupperware of water and also uh, they're going to finish up their dry food. That's what they're not going to get while we're gone. I filled up their dishes of uh, dry food and also gave them an extra little container. I mean, it's, it's like 7 a.m. right now, and we will be back tomorrow evening, like maybe tomorrow at 8 p.m. It's like the cats are going to be fine, but I don't know. It's still kind of a big deal. No one's going to be checking in on them. I actually wanted to check in on them, so I hooked up my uh, my camera to my computer and left it running so I can connect to my computer and actually watch the food dishes if I want. Maybe I'm a crazy cat owner and I'm taking it a little bit too far, but I like to check on them and we have technology to do so, so why not? Anyway, um, we should get on the road because we got two and a half hours to get to Charleston. That was a long drive. You excited? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. We were aiming to get here at nine and it's 10.30. There's but a ton of people here. There's a lot of people here. Are you excited? You gonna find some deals? I have to go to the bathroom. It's an awful feeling at the flea market. This is simply a shot to show the passing of time and the fact that Mao is really hot and aggravated because it's hot. I think that may have been the hottest flea market experience I've ever had. That was pretty bad. In fact, we didn't film a whole lot just because we were running to, to like get through it. So that's why we made one clip. Um, did you guys get anything at all? Mm -mm. No, okay. Mal, you didn't get anything. Yeah. The luckiest you're gonna get here is, or well, any flea market, is you know vendors that are coming to set up for the day and aren't here all the time. The people that have video games here all the time, and there's actually several booths, are insane. Like, absolutely insane. They want $45 for a copy of Marty Par Mario Party 2, which is ridiculous. And also everything is ridiculous. And we talked to the guy, and we're like, Mal, Mal actually asked him, do you have anything, you know, unusual you don't see very often? He said, we got a Sega Saturn. And we said, we have a Sega Saturn. <laughs> he goes, oh, then no. <laughs> anyway, we did pick up a few things. Um, I got a GameCube controller for four bucks. It's a silver one, and it was in really nice condition. Uh, bases loaded one, two, and three for $10 uh, all together. I knew one of the bases loaded games was worth a little more than the others. Unfortunately, it was four, so I don't know what they're worth, but probably not a whole lot. And then otherwise, I found a guy that was selling games for astronomical prices, and uh, I found four that I was vaguely interested in and asked if he would cut me a deal. So I got Joe and Mac, um, some Quattro Sports thing, uh, Quattro Arcade, and uh, Kiwi Craze, which we had joked about in Player's Choice the other day. And altogether, the prices on them are, quite frankly, stupid. 25 37 and it's like, it's like $60. And I was like, well, how much will you give me these four games for? And he said, 25 And I said, how about 15 he says, oh, no, I can't do that. And I was like, well, let's do 20 And he says, ugh. But I got these games for 20 bucks, which seems fair. So. What's wrong with that kid crying? I don't know. Maybe he's got a poop. While we're waiting at this light, I just wanted to point out that there is a Cash for Gold Express with a drive through So you can drive through, throw them some gold, and get some cash. Welcome to America. Lunch today is Jason's Deli. We ate there once before in Columbia. Hopefully the one in Charleston is good. I tried the Club Royale and it's awesome. It is really, really good. Also, the guy brought some soup and I did not order soup. And no one else ordered this soup. It is now my soup. Mom, what'd you get? You get, is that turkey? It's called the Chicago something. Oh, Chicago Club. 
Actually, I feel like I ordered that last time we were at the one in um, Columbia. Otherwise, you guys got the salad bar. The salad bar was impressive up there, but I just, I really prefer sandwiches. After lunch, we went to a few various places and uh, we stopped by a place called Dot Games. It's mostly a card shop. In fact, when we went in, there were people playing Magic. And it was interesting because I have been out of the magic loop for so long, but I heard a few cards that I recognized. Anyway, they had a few games in there, and uh, one that caught my eye was Final Fight 2. And I was like, okay, Final Fight 2, that's cool. We had Final Fight 1. We just recently picked up Final Fight 3 in, uh, in Jacksonville. And I was like, okay, it would be really cool to own the last one, Final Fight 2. It's kind of a rarer game, and it's worth a little more than you know normal cartridges. And I asked the guy to get it out of the case and tell me how much it was. Well, it was one of those places that don't put prices on the games. They, uh, they check them at the counter to find out how much they're worth. So I didn't have a whole lot of faith, but I picked out Final Fight 2 and The Lost Vikings. And uh, he looked up the prices and said The Lost Vikings was $20. And I was thinking, well, I'm screwed. This isn't going to work. And he said, in Final Fight 2, 12 And I'm like, really? $12. So I bought Final Fight 2. Final Fight 2 is worth double that. It's worth $24. And uh, it's a rare title. You barely ever see it. So I was happy to nab it. 12 bucks. Can't complain. Now we're on our way to the, uh, the last uh, game store that's in the area. It's actually over in Mount Pleasant, which is where our hotel is, so it's convenient. And it's called E Squared Games. And hopefully they're open because we're driving all the way over there. And if they're not open, that would be kind of bad. So we couldn't find E Squared Gaming. We looked for a long time and could not find it. And then eventually I was like, man, I'm tired. I can't do this. So we've come to the hotel to check in. And the hotel is really sweet because they gave us free cookies. I love it, man. You can laugh all you want. Free cookies it means a lot to me. Anyway, we're going to try and do more research to find this stupid place. And then maybe we'll go to it either tonight or tomorrow. There's photos online of the place, and it looks really nice, but we can't find the stupid thing. Mal's really been enjoying Animal Crossing today. And yesterday, to, a, to an extent. Um, we had game night last night with everybody. And uh, when Mal posted yesterday on Twitter that she got a DS with Animal Crossing, it forced uh, Dan, who owns a 3DS, to go out and buy Animal Crossing. It made um, Thomas order a 3DS and Animal Crossing, and Alex was really, really on the fence about the the whole the whole situation. He's like, I don't really want a 3DS. I don't want a 3. Mm, no, I'm not going to do it. But doggone it, all of you are you know getting 3DSs with Animal Crossing and want to play. And I told him, I said, listen, I'm not getting one. You know, I I, I don't I don't really. Uh, have a whole lot of time to play it and I said it is it's pretty cool because I had a chance to, to mess with it um, but I said I'm probably not going to get one and I said you know I said if you get one I'll get one I said and I said that because I knew he wouldn't get one like Alex has a reputation as being a bit of a cheapskate which is good he doesn't he doesn't spend a whole lot of money on frivolous things but uh, he posted today <laughs> that he got one and he said Stephen you have to get one now. And I'm like, ah, I really wasn't planning on getting one. So I don't know, I might get one. They're fun. I think it's more fun than I, last night, I, I sat in bed and Mal was, when I was playing it, and I said, can I, you know, hold the thing? And I was holding it and actually playing a little bit of Animal Crossing with the 3D on, and I was like, this is kind of neat. <laughs> I like this. I got stung again. I'm sorry. I don't know. It might be a while before I get one, but it'll probably just take Alex yelling at me more to get one. They're pretty cool, dang it. They're pretty cool. Crap. I didn't want this to happen. All right, we found it for lease. Darn it. We actually stopped at a uh, Pizza Hut and asked them on because we couldn't find this stupid place and uh, apparently it went out of business two months ago. So that's unfortunate. Who wants dinner? Pizza was a swell choice. At dinner Mal and I talked about the entire situation regarding the 3DS and she told me flat out what she wanted me to do. She wants me to get a 3DS. 
because she wants join me. She wants us to play together, um, especially in Animal Crossing. Now that everyone is getting it, like all of my friends that you know we play games with are, are getting one. And what really sold me on the idea was when we started talking about future releases. There's a lot of games that we don't need two copies of. Like, we won't need two copies of, you know, a single-player game or an RPG or something like that. We can share that. You know, she can play through it, I can play through it, etc. Um, they come with Mario Kart 7 installed, so we have that. And we're going to have uh, Animal Crossing, so we get that. But then other games like Pokemon. I can get Pokemon X, she can get Pokemon Y, and we can play through that. And, like, that was super exciting to me, the thought of doing that. And that's going to be coming up in October. So I was like, fine. I, I will do it. Plus, she was very adamant about it, and she wants me to to join her town. I think also a little of it has to do with, and I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the vlog, but um, when we were in college, we both had DSs and copies of Wild World, and we were in a long-distance relationship, and we played Animal Crossing a lot. A whole lot. Oh, yes. Uh, especially in... Um, in freshman freshman year and sophomore year and up into up into junior year too but mostly in freshman and sophomore year so a little before the the vlog we uh we played the crap out of wild world and a lot of people say it's not even it's like the worst game in the series and we actually really enjoyed it um but it was just a lot of fun being able to hang out with each other and and have that interaction when we were so far apart and now we're not far apart but I don't know, it would be kind of cool to relive those days. So I decided that, uh, or I guess Mal helped me decide, I'm going to get a 3DS. I'm excited about it. I, I am, especially after seeing Mal have so much fun with it in just the past two days, and also being able to play it and be like, man, this is actually a pretty cool system. Um, I, I'm excited to get it. We were actually at the Walmart this evening, but uh, they didn't have the same bundles that they had at our Walmarts at home. So... I guess I'll just wait until I get back home, because if I can get the same thing, I would like to. The downside is that our, our 3 dss will be the same color, but we can differentiate them somehow. We'll put a sticker or a charm or something to, to make sure we know whose is whose. Um, anyway, with that being said, I feel better because now I'm going to be like, okay, I get to join in the fun with everyone playing Animal Crossing. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to play Animal Crossing or something with you guys in the future. Maybe trade Pokemon in October or November. So there's some exciting things on the way just because I'll have a 3DS. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? You are exactly what I was looking for. What the piss. Uh, d d <laughs> sorry. Did you just talk? <laughs>